Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another tutorial. This time I wanted to introduce you to GitLab CI, so GitLab Continuous Integration Tool. This is built in the GitLab tool. You do not need to download any software or anything like that. All you need is a browser and a GitLab account. It's totally free. So if you haven't created an account, do that now. And once you are logged in into your account, you should see something like new project here on the right. So we're going to create a very simple project and we are going to create a continuous integration pipeline. It will be very, very simple, but just to demonstrate the basic functionality of GitLab. So go ahead, click new project. And this will be something like my simple pipeline. And right here below, you have the possibility of selecting the visibility. You can make it public if you want, but I will leave it private because I'm just playing around. So right here below, I'm going to create the project. Now, once that is ready, you will have a normal repository. So there's nothing inside it. So the first thing that we'll do is create a new file. And this file will be called .gitlab dash ci dot yaml so this is how the file should be named and this is a convention gitlab will automatically recognize it so what we're trying to do here is to create two basic stages there will be a build stage and there will be a test stage now in the build stage i will do something very simple like create a file and then in the test stage i will test that that file was actually created in the previous lab so pretty pretty basic now, in order to get something to run, you need to define some build steps. So we are going to define the stages, how they are called in GitLab. So I'm going to say something like stages, column. And then with the tab, I'm going to say there's a build stage. And there is a test stage. So these are the stages, the two stages that we'll have. And now we have to define the jobs themselves. So we're going to have a build. And you can define it as you want. So you can name it as you want. But it's important now to say that the stage is built. And the next thing, we can really get into coding. So we can really define what this stage should do. So this will be something like script. And now we can just type in something like echo. I'm going to say this is building. And the second step will be, let's create a new directory called build. And let's create a file inside this directory. This will be a simple empty file, nothing special. And now let's create a test job. And this will be part of the stage test. This is the second test. This is a second stage that we're running. And again, we'll have a script. And in this case, we're gonna say something like testing. This is just to demonstrate that you can enter multiple commands one after the other. And we're gonna use the test command. And I'm gonna test that this is a file. I'm gonna say build info.txt. Okay, so now we have this. Let's commit and see if the syntax that we have here is valid. And we're getting this message here that this GitLab configuration is valid. And that is actually great news. Now, if we go to the project overview, you will see here that something has started to build. So this is the icon that it's showing you that the pipeline has started. And I didn't need to configure anything in particular. Just by having this file here and no other files, GitLab started building this pipeline as instructed. And if I click this icon, you will be actually able to see the pipeline, how it looks. So you'll see there are two stages and there's the build stage and there's the test stage. This is the job name. So now, right now we're building. And this will take a minute to start a docker image and to actually execute this and the first stage succeeded and this goes then to the second stage and you will see now that the second stage is running as well so let's see if this is successful
And now you'll see that this job actually failed. And this is because in the previous job, we created some files and after the job completed, everything was sort of a thrown away. So we need to find a way to make these two separate jobs communicate with one another. And the magic word in this case is artifacts. We need to define some artifacts so that the first job can create those artifacts and inform the next job or any other job in between to access that, those artifacts. So we'll have to change a bit our configuration in order to do that. And at the build step, you will see that after the script, we need to add something like artifacts. And we're going to say here that we define some paths where these artifacts should be located. And the only artifacts that we are interested in are inside the build folder. So this should probably be enough to publish those artifacts. So let's commit those changes again and see now if the pipeline is successful. You can also easily see the pipelines that are currently running if you go on this left panel on click on CI CD pipelines. You will see now that this current pipeline is running. It's on the first stage and still needs a bit to complete, but soon it will get to the second stage and then it should probably be successful. And now I just refreshed the page and saw that both stages are successful. And let's go into the test one to see exactly what happened there. And you'll see that this command has been displayed here, testing, and then the test itself that this file exists has worked as well. And you'll see here the fact that these artifacts are being downloaded and this makes this entire pipeline work. Now, this is a very, very simple pipeline, but as you can see, you can build upon it and you can really get into more complicated things if you need to. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you think you have learned something new. And if you're interested in more GitLab tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll be posting in the next period more tutorials. See you next time. Bye bye.